Hello folks, time for another video and a shave. Oh yeah. Well, after my last shave with the good old tobacco, while I was in the cabinet where I store all my soaps where I have boxes for, um, right behind the tobacco was good old Jella. Jella, Jella, Jella. Yes, Jella. That good old almond, mm, come on, almond cherry marzipan. Good stuff. Now, I was going to show you the ingredients, but since I bought this product off of Amazon, Amazon, of course, stuck their stupid sticker right over the ingredient list. Now, I think there is ingredients on the bottom of the container, but... There, it's super duper duper small. And I'm not sure the camera will pick that up. But maybe if you pause and you scope it out. But anyway, ah. Yeah, thank you, Amazon, for, uh, you know, putting your good old stickers everywhere. I don't remember when I bought this soap. A couple of years ago, I know, at least. I think I'm on my second container of this. It's a nice kind of a soft... As you can push my finger right there into it. Smells great. Mm. Which led to, led to me to buy later on, down the road, a little amped up version. Here it is. I always keep it on deck here. Sterling's Almond Cream which is like chell in scent, but ramped up much stronger. So I figured, you know what, today, take a little trip to Italy. I also brought in the old Aquapana water from Italy. Kind of taken over from Mountain Valley Spring Water. And no, it's not vodka. It's actually from Tuscany, or Tuscan. Good spring water. Nice crisp. And it's been on sale lately on Amazon Fresh. So that's why I've been picking that up. All right, anyway, back to the shave. I am using my Simoog 830 today because I haven't used the boar brush in forever. And I figured, yeah, it would be a good day for a boar brush. Whipped it up in the Captain's Choice Bowl. And it's such a nice... Mmm, nice, nice, nice scent. And we're using the Macure 38C today, which is basically a 34C on a nice long barber pole handle. Yes. And I hear my grandkids are over because it's that time of day. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so like not with it today. There is a Persona Platinum in the blue label in there today. So, yeah, let's get this cruising. Kind of really sticking to my two-day shave so far. It'll probably get screwed up at the end of the week. Just because that's the way it goes. It's kind of crappy today. This boar brush I've had for, oh, th at least three to four years, maybe even longer. It's so broken in, it's almost as soft as some of my synthetic brushes. It's definitely softer than a few badger brushes I have, but that's because it broke in very nicely. In fact, at the end of the shave, I'll rinse it out and you'll see this thing blooms out. I used to call it the blooming onion. For some reason, I only have like a handful of board brushes. I don't know why. They're really good. They're all Simogs, though. I think, no, you know, I think I have a couple Omega boards too. I forget. 
so forgetful. You know what I gotta do? I should have did it before I jumped in the showers. I need to trim the old ear hairs there. They're getting kind of long. Surprised my wife didn't say anything about it. Well, I already got the water everywhere today. I got the water everywhere. All right, Mercure 38C Persona Platinum. Inchella. Oh, yeah. There's a loud car outside. And of course, they have to be right on side of my side street here. Sorry if you guys hear that loud car. The microphone is pretty sensitive. But it'll add some ambient sound. This razor is so smooth. I mean, if you're familiar with the Mercure 34C, same razor, except with a longer handle. Some people find it a little mild. If you want to call it that. It is mild, but it is efficient. Very nice. Yeah, that is very good. Very good, very good, very good. I think I got water in that ear. <laughs> or not water, but lather. All right. That feels good. Let's go some more with the cella. The cella. Took about 15 seconds to technically whip it up in the old bowl. Since it is a softer soap, it's kind of on that like cropey borderline there. It was like I said, it was very easy to lather. I really like the scent because it's just got that... Almond, cherry, like I said, marzipan scent to it. chell has been around a long time. Very nice from Italy. The only thing I noticed that when I do my shaves every two days, it does save me from the ingrown hairs, but sometimes the hairs are really short under my nose. So it feels like I'm kind of scraping toast. I'm just Add some of that in back under there. Get it out of my nose. There we go. So 
So sometimes when my stubble is short, I have a tendency to skip with the razor. And I don't want to do that because then I will have a nick situation or a little weeper situation. Wow, that feels good. That feels good. The only spot that needs a little touch up is the usual jawline, which is the usual spot for me. Yeah, it was nice and extra chilly this morning. It was down in the teens. Alright, I think that's going to do it up nicely. Let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster. He's been very noisy lately. Yes, Sigmund, I know. Alright, cold water rinse. And it's going to be cold. Oh, yeah. That's a nice. Mm. Oh. All right. Lancaster towel. Oh, covering up the logo. Not that there. I'm sponsored by Lancaster at all, but... It is my favorite towel, even though I should be using the Glen Shaves towel back there that my wife knitted for me, but it's kind of the official banner of the channel now. All right, so the Lancaster towel. All right, call it the Lancaster water magnet. Does a great job. Only for the face. Never wiped down my counter. I always have a towel over here for the counter. Good stuff. Yeah. See that? Keep those shaves every couple days. And we don't have to worry about ingrown hairs. Oh, that's smooth. Smooth. So, once again, that was Chella. Good old Chella. Cream of the barber. Great scent. Great classic scent. Mercure 38C. Same thing as a 34, but with that nice barber pole handle. All righty. Put that up in my rack. All right, and that was the Simog, which I got lathered all over the little Lay there, the 830, but let me give it a rinse. Because I want to show you how cool this knot is. This bore knot. It's it's so uh it's bloomed out very nicely because it I should do it on my shirt. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> And it is so soft. Mmm. That's so soft. Nice boar brush from Portugal, I believe. Or C Moog. It's the 830. It does have a little teeny handle, but I'm kind of used to it. And I just love that splay. It's good stuff. That's its own special stand. And that was the Captain's Choice Bowl, the Sandstorm. Thank you, Wes, because that is my buddy who sent me that awesome thing. Okay, so let's finish it off with the Chella Aftershave Bomb. The only bummer with this bomb is it does not smell like the soap. It has a very, a very cologne -y scent. Ooh, made a funny noise. It kind of reminds me of, if you are familiar 
with future fiction from PAA. It has that kind of scent. It's a very pleasing scent because I'm not a big cologne kind of guy when it comes to my shaving gear, but this is nice. I actually, when I bought this originally, I thought that it was going to be like, you know, that nice almond cherry marzipan kind of deal, but no. And I don't know if I have ingredients for this bad boy. The writing's kind of small here, so. Yeah, it, no ingredients on the actual container. Maybe the box does, because they took off the box. Unless Amazon, yep, they did. They screwed me again. There's the ingredients, and it's behind that Amazon label. So sorry, but I'll leave the link down for the product down below, of course. Mm. Perfect day for this bomb, too, because me and my wife are going out to the store later so nice protection against that nice cold air outside okay folks well if you enjoyed today's cella shave thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down and please subscribe we are climbing the ladder ever so slowly we'll have an awesome giveaway i promise and stay safe out there and until next shave glenn signing off <music>